Oh my goodness. I didn't think I would be doing this. I have missing my gauges. It's so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it looks like I already got the theme for the reading. <laughs> All right, like I said, going with the flow. You guys get to see the behind the scenes. So if I should just do a vlog, let me know. Let me know. I gotta get used to this, I gotta get used to this. So here we are, here we are. Okay, you guys, we have three different cards that you guys can choose from. This message is going to be centered around what is the universe trying to tell you? So. It is true that not many people are meant to hear this message, and this is something that I'm learning also in my quantum leap of transition. Not everyone is ready for the message that is getting ready to take place. So um, if you are here, then that means that you're on a frequency high enough to be able to even retain this information and hear it. It is not by coincidence that you are here. It is nearly impossible that it could be a coincidence for you to be here. It, there's too many synchronizations that had to have taken place for you to be here. So with that being said, I'm definitely feeling like trusting more of what the universe has to tell you and share with you rather than overthinking it or thinking about it in general, okay? That's what I'm getting. So I'm still trying to get over the fact that I'm gonna be doing this video completely Oh my gosh, my ego's dying, <laughs> slowly dying. <sighs> to be a leader, you must be an example of what you're saying. And what I'm saying is to stop caring so much about what you look like, what people are gonna say, how people are gonna judge you, etc. Slowly dying, slowly dying. My ego is slowly dying at the fact that I am here right now. And I just was like, go. My ego was like, what do you mean? We have to get ready. You got to get your tea. And here I am. And I don't know why. So it seems as if Now that I'm here, I'm just realizing that there's a lot that you don't know about. The version of me is completely connected to the universe. I don't need tarot cards or any cards or crystals or chakras or stones to connect. These are all modalities or methods that people use as training wheels to connect with the universe. I have learned that my entire life, even as a child, I have been connecting with the universe. I have been connecting with some type of outside source, and that's why we have the three alien cards here, is like, I really truly feel and know who I am. And with that being said, I believe that I've been sent here to deliver a message specifically for you. Message one being stop caring what you look like, especially if you're looking to sharing anything. If you're looking forward to sharing anything on this planet, which you will because it's the law of reciprocity to give, to receive, then you must get over this sharing and getting vulnerable. So this is me, okay? And again, I just realized how much prevention happens between me getting a video done and not. And it's truly because it's a lot of overthinking. Sometimes I just wanna be free and it's Sunday, I'm chilling, you know? Um, so like, I just want to chill. So I just feel like there, there's a lot that you don't know about me. And, um, those of you who have known me, you've known me for a long time, years, three, four years, it'll be of me doing this. And I just, I definitely know that I'm meant to be connected and to share my journey more with people as an earth angel. So as an earth angel, I believe that I've unlocked all of my psychic abilities so I can hear, see, feel, and know when the universe is communicating. And so I've been inspired to create this video 
and share with you also that there are three cards here and whichever one you're drawn to is most likely going to be what the universe is trying to communicate with you. I'm using aliens because it's like we're not from this world, we're from out of this world. And these messages come from not this 3D world. They do not come from your mind. They do not come from your thought. The universe does not have a mouth and does not speak a language. We have to really keep this in mind, okay? Does not speak a language. Therefore, these, this is not coming in words. The words are formed after you receive the information. So a lot of you do have gifts, so check out the tarot chest if you guys are looking to activate those gifts. Okay, let's jump into the three cards that we have here. We have card one, card two, card three. Let's see what card one has to say. All right, you are the author of your life story is what I'm hearing for you, card one. Card one, card one, card one. What is the message for card one? Those who are chose or let, imagine yourself exploring three new places. You are worthy of what you're asking for. You are the author of your life story, came out again. That's double confirmation. You are more in control and authority of where you're directing your energy than you know. We have the nine of cups. We have a wish come true that's getting ready to happen for you. I believe spirit has been trying to lead you and guide you. It says, trust that you are being guided on your journey. There you go, another confirmation. So spirit is already claiming to be guiding you, all right? And guiding you through which way? Let's get this information. Spirit is saying to return home. Okay, come back to yourself, come back to what's true to you, come back to what's authentic to you. We have two of pentacles. There's a decision that has to be made in the practical realm, all right? We have the five of earth that flew out earlier for you guys, which is the five of pentacles. This represents lack, okay? Letting go of control and letting things flow. Letting things flow. Let's see what these two options are, okay? We have the king of wands in reverse, something that does not allow you to be as creative as you're meant to be. Deck one, card one, you have a gift of creativity. Your creative passions are actually what's going to give you access to success in the practical realm here. You are given talents and gifts, though if you're focused so much on the practical, you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're only focused on survival, practical things. I need to get this done, I need to get this done. How often are you thinking about what am I inspired to do today? What am I inspired to create today? We have the Ten of Swords here. Something is coming to an ending or a closing. Some of you guys could be moving away from careers, moving away from jobs. There's the old life, the blue pill, and then there's the red pill. This is what's happening right now. You are being asked to make a decision. On the other side, we have the Page of Cups. Yes, it may be, you may feel like you're behind. I'm hearing you're not behind. The universe wants you to know you're right on time. You're not behind, you're right on time, okay? So this thing with time, let it go. You're, you arrived exactly when necessary. If people arrived prior to you, they needed more information and training than you did. Sometimes you arrive because you're, you're ahead. Okay, so again, if you're starting something that you're passionate about doing, I see two different things here. I see a two of pentacles. Which way should I go? If I go this way, I have to trust that I'm being guided on a journey. All right, and this journey, where is this journey guiding me to? Let's see, card one. Boundaries, something about your boundaries, okay? Right now, pulling your energy back to you is very important. 10 of Swords, you are going through a significant shift in your life that is currently happening. Let's see where this journey is leading you to. We have awakening, once again, a huge shift, it says. An energetic upgrade, a new way of being, integration. You are going through an integration. Star seed, what lights you up, okay? You are being called to a higher mission here. And it starts off as a page of cups. So it seems also like there's a lot of playfulness in this. There's a lot of fun and there's a lot of joy. We have three of the highest vibrations on the energy chart. See, as a practical person, we would look overlook that. Joy, in order to even carry the frequency of joy and to be in joy, that person has to be very connected to the universe. 
Okay, these are very, very high frequencies to be vibrating in. So if someone has joy, inspiration, and passion, they have something worth more than money, more than resources. They have an energy, a vibration that can attract all of resources. All right, so it's almost like you're becoming, you're becoming a magnet to the things that you desire. You're not really understanding how powerful you are because if you were, you would just simply trust that you're being guided on this journey. This journey is meant to be pleasant. I'm also hearing in this journey, in the death, you will make it to your destination, you will be fulfilled, and you will have success. It's guaranteed. How do you know? When I say that, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Okay, then you're feeling God. It's that simple. You are feeling God. When you're feeling good, you are feeling the presence of God, the most high source of a vibration. The difference between myself and many others is that I don't overlook that. I say, oh, God's communicating with me versus other people who just may not see that as communication. Once again, universe does not communicate with the mouth and does not speak a language. So already the, the mind and the ego, pff, way out of all bar park. Our mind is like language. Well, no language, well, how will we talk? <laughs> of course. But there's something about your throat chakra. Speaking truth, saying no, saying no. No, I don't wanna do this because it does not feel good. See, we always want steps on what we can do to make it happen. You can stop saying yes to things you wanna say no to, so you can get closer to receiving yeses. And this is what you've been mastering, okay? So Starseed, you're coming home. To home to who? You, who you truly are, and you're getting visions of that through the universe by what makes you feel good, okay? So with the journey, I said it's guaranteed, all right? And you may say, how will you know? How will you know? Well, we can look at the cards, the cards will say it. Even before I pull it, they will say it. Okay, the cards are just training and just tools. Now it's really time to connect. So you're going through an energetic upgrade and this person you're becoming, you don't have to try to be. I really want you to hear this. You don't have to try to be this person. You've known this, this is who you are at your most authentic core. You don't have to try to be this. The upgrades will come with the version you're becoming. As you become and shift into this version, then you might find yourself meditating more. Then you might find yourself saying no more. Then you might find yourself saying, you know what, I think I'm gonna get some activity in. I think I'm gonna really do some type of movement and work out, exercise. A lot of you are trying to become this person. And it is not, a, it is not something you become, it is who you already are. So you're really claiming it within you, saying, you know what? I see that there is more potential and excitement, and I can see where are you seeing this. Especially if you've never seen it in the physical, when you say, I see, what are you saying? So you have a gift to see, card one. You're completely overlooking it. You have a gift to see, but you don't know how to use it, okay? The tarotchest.com, if you guys wanna learn how to use your gifts, there's more stuff there. We have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. So spirit is saying right now it's a pit stop. You're in the hangman. Six of cups. You're in the hangman. Okay. And if a lot of you are also reminiscing on the past, it's just a reminder of the possibility of happiness that exists. Don't take it as anything more. It's just remnants and remembrance and evidence that happiness, that love, peace, all of these things that you're dreaming about, it is because somewhere inside of you knows that it's possible and exists. There's some things that, remember I said saying no? Look at this, no, you got no. Saying no, no, I don't want to. No, I'm not coming. Because every time I come, I don't feel good. Why don't I feel good? I don't know. But this is where self-love comes in. Your self is saying, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> and you have to know when your self is saying no out of fear 
or out of genuinely like, oh no, I don't feel good. So it's more of like getting more in tune with yourself. This inner grade that you're going through is giving you more of a sensory feeling, heightening your senses, becoming more sensitive to things, hearing the voice of God, the universe. And what does that sound like? And I tell you guys very often, it sounds like truth. So when someone says I'm in the light, the first thing you should be doing is looking at their life. Are they living in truth? Are they truly authentic? And that's why I don't care anymore, because half the time, this is what I look like. So I just don't care. I can't anymore. You know, so these are just things that you and I could both be shedding. All right. So that's something, too. You could definitely be tribe. So you're a star seed. You're part of the tribe, especially as an earth angel. All right. Some of the things that we're talking about could sound crazy. That's why I put aliens on the card. We're not from here. Earth angels are not from here. We come here to bring the light. And we desire to be pure. And we desire to meet others who are pure. And that's just the truth. We desire compassion, unity, harmony, love. We desire to feel good, to feel excitement. And I've been saying this a lot. Excitement can only come from the most high source. It's too high of a frequency. If you're excited, what makes you excited? So I see two different journeys here. With the Page of Cups, it seems like, oh, I'm just now starting this. I love it, but I'm just now starting this. Will this take off? How long will this take? With the Page, it doesn't seem like it's promising. But let's see what this Page is representing. The Empress, look at that. Behind the Page of Cups, we have our first major arcana that has now officially joined us. Finally, I was wondering, where is the the spiritual upgrade here. You have a lot of things going on in your practical realm, in your love life. Some of you guys could be reminiscing once again or just desiring to feel something. Even if you're in a relationship, you could be like, oh, I, w I wish we can get back to how it was when we first got together in euphoria. Or if you're single, you may be thinking about certain situations with people and have little flashes. This is once again just evidence that these frequencies actually existed and you experienced them in the past and you're desiring to experience them again, okay? So even in your relationships, we have a lot of reminiscing. No, change, changing of friendships, changing of community. All right, so we have an ending coming with the King of Wands. What is this ending about for card one? Four of Cups, something that is dissatisfying to you. You are dissatisfied in some areas of your life, and that is totally fine. This is just simply a check engine light for, hey, you're not feeling this. It doesn't feel good here. And this is where who's saying that? Your gut. This can only come from the universe. This is communication from the universe, but you can't see it because you're so focused on what's not going right. Your hands are crossed. Na, 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 na. Like, uh. Okay, focus on maybe what didn't work out. And this is keeping your energy in that feeling here. So yes, things are ending um, and they're ending so that you can have an upgrade and you're becoming the empress. You are a creator, the empress. Okay, I'm having, I have so many messages for you right now. Okay, card one. So there's another question I have here for you. We have two different paths here, one that is dissatisfying, it is not fulfilling, but we have a cup here. What is this cup representation of? From spirit, obviously it's coming out of nowhere. It's coming out of nowhere, but it's going to, you cannot see it because you're so overwhelmed. This is interesting. It's really, really interesting what they're showing me. You're so overwhelmed by certain things working out, how they're gonna play out. Now, I've already told you that your journey is destined and guaranteed. How do I know this energy? Because you can feel it, you feel good. So on your journey to this destination in which you think you're going, because it's not a place, you can go to this destination and never move a leg. It is an internal journey. Even if you do experience it outside of yourself, this is all happening because of how you feel internally. You will make it to your destination Destination of what? Fulfillment. Let's just say that. And that is not an up, down. You can't use a compass to get there. There is no GPS to get there. And this is what I'm trying to explain to you is that 
do you want the journey to be pleasant or do you want it to be displeasant, dissatisfying? Because we already know intuitively. You, I'm, I'm just, honestly, you guys, I love tarot, but I really love activating. And I'm telling you right now, you are being activated and your gifts are becoming louder. And you cannot see right now, look at the palace behind this person. They cannot see, they have so much in their way. With the wands, this is energy. Some of this is other people's energy. Pulling your energy back is where the no comes in and the pause comes in. Pulling your energy back here. You cannot see the destination of fulfillment because you are blocked energetically. And even in your imagination, you must see it in your imagination before it arrives here in the 3D. Are you seeing it in your imagination? Are you seeing it in your visions? All right. And so what they're saying is some things have been blocked in your, in your, um, in your aura. And so you are worthy of what you're asking for. You don't have to work hard to make this happen. And that is not a fluke. And that is not a scam. And I'm just like everybody coming out with all of these informative messages about spiritual people and what they're saying and it's too good to be. It's like, yes, there are always going to be bad where there is good because bad always wants to be good. That's the truth. <laughs> and so bad is scamming and people saying you're meant to do not have to work and this will happen. This is the truth. And so this is why we cannot rely on tarot readers. And I said this years ago, maybe a year or two years ago to tell you the truth. I am just here as a leader and a guide to direct you back to your own feeling of truth. How do you feel when I tell you this? And feeling good is your confirmation. You don't need any book. The person doesn't need to have a degree. If they're speaking, they could be four years old and they can say something to you. And if it feels good, that was the universe sending that little boy or girl into your life to tell you that. This is incredible. Some overlook it. I don't. I communicate with the universe through everything and I believe you have that ability too, but nobody is really understanding that this communication is not a direct line of communication in a language form. It is through the little girl, it is through the numbers. And you wanna know, what does this mean? Why are you asking me what your message means? When 333 comes up on your clock, look it up. Shuffle through and see what you land on and trust and know, oh, this is what the universe is trying to tell me. It's not about what 222 means all across the board. See, we always try to conceptualize this communication from the universe. It's not logical. It's not A plus B equals C, two plus two equals four. Like, oh, okay, so all 222 two, two means is making choices and decisions. Yes, the basics of it, but if that came to your phone, then the universe is communicating with you. Look it up. And what do you see? What's the first sentence you see? That's your message. But you have to trust yourself and your guidance. You have to trust it. You have to trust it to the point where it will sound irrational at times because this is not a rational place. Rational is not love, is not joy, is not enlightenment. It's not, okay? Now you're becoming the empress behind this page of cups, whatever it is that you love to do. Let's get some information. I just got this deck, I'm really excited to use it. Albert Einstein, how? You have Albert Einstein and Julie Garland, think big. So we have the, the girl from Wizard of Oz, Okay, imagination, think big. You, have a, you could have a gift of clairvoyance, imagination. Albert Einstein, open your mind. You have infinite possibilities, okay? When I pulled your cards for the Page of Cups, this is starting off, you could be a director, you could be a film director, you could be into anime, you could be into animation, you could be into creation. Let's see what this card says, because this, once again, I'm letting myself be guided even right now, because something is telling me, oh, I love this, something is telling me, well, duh, what's that something? Like, yes, something is, but don't, it's not a thing. So don't try to conceptualize it. Just know that whatever that something is, you must trust it in this time of your leap of faith, card one, leap of faith right now. And man, yeah, it might sound scary, 
on this end, all there is is good feelings, curiosity. Hmm, I wonder how this will go. It starts off as the page of cups. We have the fish jumping out of the cup, which is representing of curiosity. Hmm, why is that fish in the cup? And with this, that's how this path is going to start for you. It might not be the entire plan given to you. Thus, if you want to tap into your powers, it will be given to you through your imaginative portive. So it starts off as something that you're curious about, but it turns you into the empress. This is not something you have to figure it out. It is something that you already were destined to do. So recording is big. I'm telling you, there's a reason why I just showed up today, chill, in chill mode. Something about recording and not trying to control the creation and just going with the flow. Going with the flow are gonna be your best messages. Most of people's best videos that went viral, they were not planning it. They probably looked terrible. They're like, dang, if I would have known it was gonna blow up, that's why you didn't know. You would have stood up, okay? <laughs> this is literally what the universe, like, and the universe communicates, and this is my perception and inter interpretation of the communication, but you, card one, will have your own way, and that's what's fun about it. Everyone's speaking the light, but in their own way. So you are very unique is what I'm getting. So you're very sensitive to nature, you could be, and also something about your identity being childlike and staying entertaining, all right? So entertainment could be big to you. Um, doing something that allows you to be your own identity. So if you got this card, it says it's okay to have faith in life. I, I can't make it up. Leap of faith. I'm telling you right now, you are making such a big leap of faith, but you have to trust where you're being guided. And you have to know and feel. Feel. If you don't feel worthy, you're resisting. A lot of us were like, yeah, I think I'm worthy. You think or you feel. Okay, because when you feel worthiness, you're, what are you feeling? You're feeling the energy of value, of a high frequency. So you are also meant to explore. As you explore, it allows you to get outside of your head and think outside of the box. It says about feeling happy and being optimistic about the way you see life for you. Unfortunately, patterns are always the same, but you never seem to read or understand the signpost. I just, I can't make it up at this point. So card one, it's like the signs are there, but you might be like, hey, what does this say? Asking other people to interpret your messages when you can interpret them. And also when you strengthen this, you will feel much more faith, a much more knowingness that you're being guided. Okay, and I'm, I'm really going over right now, but I mean, I'm just flowing. I, it doesn't, time does not exist when you're flowing. And right now, the time does not exist. So what I'm getting here is it says, pay attention to signposts and warning signs from the last time you went down the yellow brick road of destruction. When you think about it, life is like a large stage and we play out our experiences or spiritual lessons to learn and grow as eternal souls. How many times have you found yourself making the same mistakes, being hurt or burned? So... This is what's created a little bit of fear with taking a leap of faith. It's like, well, in the past, but these were not leaps of faith out of the guidance of the universe. There's a difference here. When you're being led by the universe, you just know it's going to work out. It's a, it's a cloud of certainty that surrounds you as you get closer and closer. You also have Albert Einstein. So why were you drawn to get the empress? The empress is a creator Okay, someone who was meant to create and with the king of wands, in order to be in an energy of creating like this one, you have to be having fun. It has to be pleasant. Otherwise, it will be daunting to get through or daunting to start at all. So there has to be pleasure behind your creation, even with your sacral chakra, especially sensual energy with the empress, feeling good, feeling confident, not caring. Okay, so that's another thing, too. Some of you guys could be singers or artists directors, writers, okay? So much talent is on this card, artists, in your own way. So don't try to constructualize, if that's a word, what this is. It is your own perspective, your own blueprint. So you may get into science, relativity, 
uh, parallel realities, quantum leaping. This is something that Einstein was also into. He said two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe. So this card is coming from spending too much time trying to pursue goals, working or pushing yourself to the limit. If this is the case, you need to take time out and smell the roses. Okay, so it could be about sports, it could be socializing, just asking yourself, am I living the life I envision for myself? Okay, so I also see that Einstein had dealt with a lot of conditions. He was a hybrid soul and gave a lot of predictions, such as a cure for diabetes. Okay, so there was something a little bit that came up that we talked about in your card relative to your health. And I definitely feel like there was a reason why that did come up. So really taking care of your body right now is very, very, very important. And um, this is part of you being able to channel and hear directly from the universe as well. All right, let's see what the last messages are, what the universe wants you to know, card one. Why were you drawn to card one? We have energy, I love it, power, aura, depletion, call back your energy to you. Okay, so what did we have? The 10 of wands. That's where you have to call back your energy. So calling back your energy means that no, no, and do not disturb. I've been telling you guys, I keep my phone on do not disturb for a reason because there's no way someone could be having that much power to pull me out of my reality. Okay, so you have to know and, and, and be aware of what that is. Sometimes we think that it's our own personal things, but those are usually the very last. Pull back your power from people and other sources and then work your way down to maybe some things that you're working on within. I also feel like you could be really hard on yourself, card one. It's about joy, fun, exploration, and I feel like that's where you're being called to go to. So if you guys are interested in more videos or one-on-ones, you guys can find that in the description box below or the tarotchest.com. I'm gonna move on to card number two. All right, card two, if this is your card that you guys were drawn to, this is the message from the universe that has been trying to get to you directly from the universe, okay? And what exactly has the universe been trying to tell you? Card two, all right, card one was insane. Let's get card two's energy. Universe, what have you been trying to tell them? Thank you so much. We're gonna start off with this deck. I believe you guys can find that at thepriestdecks.com. All right, let's just see what your higher self wants you to know, card two. All right, card two, what do you want them to know? If they're here, you have a message. If you're lacking confidence, you've lost sight of who you are. Okay, you guys could definitely be a Leo. You don't have to be or have Leo energy heavy in your chart. Share your ideas with others. What you believe becomes real. Anything else? Thank you. There is more for you to explore. So that's the second time we're getting exploration. You are here as an explorer to go on a voyage of an adventure is what I'm hearing. If you're losing confidence, it's because you're losing sight of who you are. When you see yourself in your imaginative rim in your highest state of excitement, what are you doing? When you feel your most confident, what would you be wearing? What would you look like? What would you smell like? Close your eyes is what I'm getting. There's a lot of distractions. You've been focusing a lot on maybe conditions, the conditional world. And the mind is perfect for the conditional world, but you want to live in the unconditional world, which is where unconditional love exists, peace, bliss, harmony, unity, excitement, joy, fun, and laughter. This is the second time we have the five of pentacles here. So there is some worry around your finances. Let's just see what this is about here. I see something changing in your finances also. Card two, universe, what have you been trying to tell them? 10 of cups in reverse. The devil in reverse. All right, so as far as your finances are concerned, let's just get that message. Why is the finances here? You're just simply may not be where you want to be entirely when it comes to your financial state. Uh, but I also see that maybe you're working through 
moving forward from people that you are being asked to leave out in the cold, maybe. Um, it's not an intentional thing. I see that you are really in a place where you have to let go of low vibrational people and low vib vibrational things, which is what you've been experiencing here. You are actually on a voyage to find your real family, which is now being called tribe because it's not a biological thing, it's a spiritual connection. It is to really feel seen, right? To really feel seen. And some of you come to this channel and I've never seen you physically, but you may even feel I see you more than the people closest to you, maybe that have been around you for years and they still may not see you. So this is about a deeper connection, a deeper understanding. And you, deck two, card two, have actually had the bravery and the courage, which are two gifts that you've been given, strength, courage, and bravery. And now I believe you're being asked to go on this voyage because you have such a love. You have a love you, for life. And this is your higher self, okay? So if you're not there yet, this is where you're becoming. And I, I do believe that I'm feeling your energy and who you truly are. And you desire to feel, okay? and feel something, feel excitement, feel love, feel connections. And I believe that you're being asked to go on a journey of releasing people, places, things, thoughts that just simply don't feel good. And this is what I love about God is good. We can all agree, right? God, universe is good. So that's because God is the energy of good. Let's say the frequency of good, let's call that God. That's the name of that frequency. This is the truest of the truth that I can get. Feeling good is your compass. It's your absolute guidance. The universe doesn't speak a language, but if there were one close enough, it would be through the language of feeling, which is why we can connect with animals. We can have pets and we don't speak a language, so why don't we neglect pets? And that's because they do speak a language. It's a feeling, it's not words. And so there is a way, animals show us there's a possibility of connecting with different species outside of language, okay? So take that as a practical way of understanding that the universe also is the same way. Just as maybe your animals cannot understand exactly what you're saying, forming words and, and under, like, imagine an animal listening to you. Like, oh, what are she trying to say? This is how we are with the universe. Like, is that a message? Is it, are you yelling? Are you excited? I'm not sure what this is. Like, so this is like different dimensions here. And so you have the ability to communicate with the universe through your sense of feeling. So definitely check out the tarot chest because I've been talking a lot about this. The tarotchest.com, you guys can find an activate your powers video. And so you guys have this ability to feel. But if you're overlooking it, you're going to be like, what ability? Or maybe you want to strengthen your ability. How else would you strengthen this other than keep following it? That's what sharpens it. Keep following what feels good and watch the good outcomes happen. Now, if you're just focused on the 3D of what looks like it's Yes, everything that's not working out, it doesn't feel good to even look at it, to talk about it. If it doesn't feel good to talk about it, you shouldn't even be talking about it, okay? I just, I, I get sometimes you guys could be a coach. You could be a leader, you could be a teacher, you could be a speaker, um, and a leader just means you're willing to go first. You're willing to say, okay, cool, I'm gonna follow the, the feeling good feeling and see where it takes me. Well, I'm just a result of actually following that path, coming back and saying, hey, this is so much light and truth, I don't know if I can keep it to myself. How can I keep all of these truths to myself? That's, that's really why I love the YouTube channel. How else can I get these messages out? You know, so it's like, take advantage of social media. That's why I said I showed up chill today. It's, a, it's an example of just I, being authentic, okay? Getting closer and just being able to connect more. And it, it had to have be, it had to be a desire of mine to really want to connect. And so it's like, here I am. This is me every day, guys. So you guys could be tribe. If you guys are hearing this message, you could be my tribe, literally. Literally, okay? Because you're on a quest to, to connecting with people. It doesn't matter what they look like. I mean, my tribe that I've been connecting with, they are all different shapes and sizes and ages. And it's just beautiful because the vessel does not matter. 
It is just a container and it expires. But what's inside the container, your essence of life, spirit, you, never dies. It's eternal. Energy cannot be destroyed or created. Okay? You guys could be coming from card one. If that's the case, that's just confirming the Einstein reference in there. Okay? So, yes, card two, you are being asked to choose you, to follow your heart and everything you do and what you love and to trust it, no matter what it is, no matter how ridiculous it may seem to others. This is why we have to distance you from others because these are not your thoughts to even think those things. Any doubt or fear or disbelief, okay, that these are not thoughts that belong to you. You're, so now you're going through another leap. You have taken a lot of quantum leaps I have taken a quantum leap as well. And you will always want to evolve. And that's why people get name changes or they do something differently because there's gotta be a physical representation of how you feel. Otherwise, people, it's for, for what people are seeing. There's something about your expression of yourself is very important. Because if you want people to see you, you must express you. All right, and that's what I'm getting. Your heart chakra is, has been guiding you and leading you your entire lifeline, okay? So this is something that is emanating all around you. And in this new leap, what is it leading you to? So we have Capricorn energy here. Uh, we also have Sagittarius energy here. And we also did have a little bit of Leo coming through. So you guys could have that as your sun sign. You don't have to. But what's happening is whatever's feeling like it's not working out or there's got to be, if you have to put more effort into it, this is telling you where it's a no. If it's meant to be, you will not have to force it. You will not have to reevaluate. It will just, we have to understand the vibration of what it feels like to get something that's meant to be. And that's why I just use the parking lot example, driving to the grocery store and then you get the first parking lot the, because that's more common for people to understand. But if we take it up a couple of notches, your life partner, you have the 10 of pentacles. You're being led to wealth. You're being led to a community and also a partner if you have not already met one who is going to be mirroring the same of you. It's like five of pentacles. So there's some relationship things going on here, card two, because I want to talk about practical and finances and resources. So you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could focus a lot on practical things and always finding solutions. But now is the time to feel. Now is the time to activate how do you feel? Does it feel good to do this? Okay, and it's like, if it doesn't, what would feel better? And I see that you may be dealing with a situation that you thought would work out. Some type of relationship could have been in the past. All right, some of you guys, very few of you, marriage, whatever it may be, take it how it resonates in your current situation ship. Relationship wise, something is happening. Let's get what your fairies want you to know, okay? Because this is obviously a different message. There is a reconciliation with yourself. There is a reconciliation wanting to happen with a twin flame, which I don't even want to use that term anymore because the world has found out and they've tainted it. <laughs> it's like, ah, labels. That's why it's like, can't use them. Um, you are being led to someone who mirrors the same frequency as you. So they would actually be a representation of your higher self. This is not a connection where you have to work hard, try hard, make it work. Once again, if you did, you would have to be, it wouldn't be meant to be. And that's why I'm saying the frequency of meant to be, it just is. You didn't have to think about it. It's not like you're like, okay, I'm going to leave at 234 to get to the grocery store so that that one parking spot is there. No, that's control. Still, you, when you're going with the flow, you're not thinking about it like, oh, wow got the first parking spot. That's a sign from the universe, literally. If, I, if that happened to me personally, I would say, oh wow, I'm in alignment right now. Let me, let me uh, buy a lottery ticket. Let me do a video because I know, I know, I see. And it's like, you have this gift too, but you're not aware of it. You're, or you're not seeing through that eye, okay? You're focused a little bit too much on the physical. What's happening in their love life? Precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment 
fully and to make the most of your precious time, being mindful not to waste others' time. So if you know something is just not meant to be or mirroring you, staying in it is not doing you a s justice. That would be an egoic decision, making a, a decision from a low frequency. So you are learning to make decisions from a high frequency. Does this excite me? Does this bring me joy? And don't just say the word joy. Really feel the words when you're saying them. And that's why we can't use language. Language is limited. That's why the universe is not, it's too intelligent to communicate with words. Look at what we've already done with Twin Flame. Now, no one probably knows what a Twin Flame is. It's crazy. With the Netflix series Twin Flames and this, it's like, so words are just, that's how it goes. So you're on a journey right now. It's time to prepare yourself for a journey. Where is your journey taking you? And what can you experience on this journey? Let's see. Where is this journey taking card two? Okay, that's the second time we're hearing journey. It's taking you to the emperor. Organization and logic, structure, discipline, leadership. The emperor is someone who is in control, someone who has a lot of confidence. I would say literally masculine energy does mean confidence. The confidence to go first, the confidence to lead, the confidence to step up no matter the situation, the confidence to go after something that you desire. Okay, so you're coming into the emperor energy, which is someone who is also in control of their finances, which are meant to be. But if you're following your practical side and your practical mind, then you will always have to be in that mind, and that mind is truly limited. So we also have the emperor. Let's see what else. So you, you are meant to meet an emperor or an empress, okay? So once again, it depends on where your relationship is, but I'm seeing that, yes, it's time to leave lower vibrational things and people behind because it's not truly what you desire, especially if you have to compromise. You're going through a transformation that's appearing to be a magical gateway. Even with the temperance card here, we have Sagittarius energy. It's a very important time of transformation. It says to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. It is the best and it is yet to come. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. This is exactly what I was saying. Okay, we have all this green here. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So where are you journeying to? You are journeying to true love, unconditional love, deeper connections, a tribe. There are other beings who are on the same frequency, vibrating on that frequency that you're desiring to connect with. These people are limitless they desire to be even more limitless so you're going through the transformation this transformation the caterpillar becomes the butterfly it takes time and really even though time is an illusion it's the space that time allows if you could take space without the time time would be unnecessary it is more so of the space the time is based on you that's a lot to uncover and unpack, but that's basically what they're saying is that it is based on you. Let's see. Knight of Cups, yeah. So I see that you're going towards something that's going to bring you a lot more fulfillment. This may be a cup that you overlooked or maybe you did, just didn't see. Let's see what else is here because we have the Emperor Energy. You're, you're coming back into your confidence of knowing who you are fully. People around you that maybe you were grew up with they just didn't see you, okay? They just did not see you. And it's, and it's like there's some, there's beauty when the people around you see you and reflect it because they are you. And that's where you're desiring to be is to meet your, your tribe, your soul tribe. All right, let's see what else is here. What are you trying to communicate with them? Ace of Cups, yeah, you have a new love coming in. Once again, take it how it resonates. If you're in a situation where you're unhappy, it's a balance then there will be a desire to be happy. So automatically you start to create an energy of desire for someone else. And so what will happen a lot of the times is your mind will be in the relationship, but your heart is desiring to feel something, feel something deeper, okay? Unconditional, um, life packed and changing. Like there's, there's just, 
you are meant to experience more. All right. In abundance, more than enough, more than you could ever imagine. And with that being said, your soul is always wanting to evolve. And if you're with someone who is not in that frequency, you will have to carry them along, waiting for them to catch up, which some of you are lifetimes. I'm hearing this lifetimes ahead of people because you desire to know. You desire to keep looking into it. You keep coming back to this channel, watching more videos because you want to know. Not everyone is doing that. Some people are choosing to scroll on TikTok. Some people are choosing to watch mindless content. You're choosing to sharpen your gifts and skills every time you tune into a video here, every time we connect. And I can only say that because I know who I am. So I know that when we're connecting, this is deep. Not everyone is here. So imagine being in a relationship or a friendship or anything where people are just not there. They cannot understand why you would wanna know such things. And so that's where you have to just allow people to be where they are and trust, okay? Trust that there is more for you to explore. And that's also in your relationships. I see you having a very significant divine connection that you've been manifesting or desiring and attracting, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You won't be single for too long with the Queen of Wands. I see that you are freeing yourself in the process right now of some of the beliefs that you have. Let's see what it is that you're freeing yourself from. The Eight of Swords. For what else, what else is to come? You're freeing yourself from the mask. The meaning is in the middle. Momentum mori, life, presence, and depth. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier with the presence, the life, okay? The life within this container. I believe I was talking about that in card one. So this is another extension of the reading, okay? Leaving behind the devil, codependent ways, thinking you need someone. You don't need an agent, you don't need a publisher, and you don't need a record label. You can do it all on your own with the help of the universe. You don't need any of that. Feeling like you need that puts you in a feminine energy and not a masculine emperor energy, which is where your confidence comes from. If you feel you always will need something or have to learn to be an expert, you will, when will you feel confident? Because your life is a, is a journey of learning. And even certain decks I just got last month. If I would not have gotten these decks, I would not have connected in with these messages. So everything comes at its perfect timing. And this is where trust is meant to come in. So there's depth. That's the word here is depth. So you are releasing things that you're just settling for because it's getting you by one thing at a time. And then you're embracing more, more independence, more financial freedom. And um, yeah, just freedom in general is what I'm getting, but it's coming from you having the confidence and your confidence is coming from even though we are leaders, the universe is really the ultimate leader. Let's see your star card on who you are and who you're transforming into. Card two. Okay, we have Michael Hutchins. Love deeply. Let's see what Michael Hutchins has to say. Okay, we also have a card that just flipped over. We have death. So we have Scorpio energy. So you are going through a, trans a huge transformation letting go of who you used to be completely. You're, you're no longer that person. I believe you have been shifting this entire three years. Three years. Now, this is why time is irrelevant because it may take others one year. It's more so of the space that you require to align and to choose what you desire. It's all on you. The universe is within you and communicating with you like a genie is what I'm hearing the universe saying. So the universe brought this card out, love deeply. Let's see what Michael Hutchinson is. Once again, I said you could be an artist, you could be a singer. Now is the time. Stop overthinking it. Get out of your mind, okay? Popular band selling over 80 million records worldwide. Anything that I say that excites you is just a confirmation that that is your higher self communicating. Whether you feel a little nudge, whether you feel a smile, whether you feel good, it's a very subtle feeling and you're being asked to pay attention to those feelings. 
Okay. Oh, wow. It's interesting because they're talking a lot about his death here. And it says that he lost himself in an accident. So there could be death that you're learning how to release. This ultimate death really does seem like a self-transformation, but some of you could actually be dealing with loss is the word, loss of um, relationships, loss of friends, um, literal loss. And there's something also that is gonna be connecting you here soon with the afterlife is what I'm getting. Don't know why, but it says, if you have gotten this card, it's time for you to manifest and unleash the inner you in, in uh, italicized writing and know who you are. As you have known for a long time, you are a product of your environment, society, culture, attitude, and experience. It is now time for you to do what you want and stand your ground. No more suppressing your desires and taking rubbish anymore. It's time to be you. Do what feels good for you. Express who you truly are. Don't be so worried about what's going on or what's gonna happen or the future outcomes or what you look like or if your lashes are on or if your hair is done or if your gauges are in or if your shirt looks fine, or if you have enough cards, or if you have enough decks. Is the mic working? Is the camera on? Is it recording? And once again, this seems to be an overall message here of, we have a lot of messages in suppression because people are afraid to share. Share yourself, share your authenticity, Share your originality, share your brave, braveness to start a different tradition because you want to actually connect. And, the, and what you've been doing is pretending with other people or other situations that this is fun, this is good. I'm just going to show up because it's what we do. You're changed. You're not the same person. Live and love the way you want instead of worrying about everyone's judgment and opinions and keep going. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I'm telling you guys, like, you, you got to care about something more than what people think. I care more about getting this message to you than I do about everything else. You have to. You have to care about something more than what people think because people are always going to be thinking. Lastly, be passionate about what you want. So it's time to choose you, and in doing so, you attract people who also choose you, who want to get to know you on a deeper level. So if you guys chose deck two, this is what the universe has been trying to tell you. If you guys are looking for one-on-ones or any other sessions, activating your powers, whatever that may be, you can find that down below or visit thetarotchest.com. I'm gonna move on to card three. Well, card three, all I can say is I feel free. I feel free at the fact that I don't care. I just put on my robe. I sat down to get ready and the universe is like, record right now. And the Capricorn in me was like, what? Whew. Who knows? This message may have not have ever gotten to you. I would have probably, I'm pretty cozy. I probably would have just chilled on the couch, watched some TV today, you know, just chilled. It's Sunday. But the point of this message is there's something about freeing yourself from people's judgments, people's opinions. So if you guys were drawn to card three, this is the only card that is very unique. There was no face here, okay? So I'm very interested on why you chose card three. What do you want them to know, spirit? The universe has brought you here for a message. The universe wants you to know that your life experiences will be the blueprint to empower others. So for instance, this is a life experience that I was just sharing with you guys. Um, just not caring and just getting the message across and just getting more of myself out because I realize that I'm a tribe leader for, for a community of people who are very heavily connected with the universe, okay? So I don't know why I'm sharing that in this deck, but I definitely feel like this could be somewhere where you're headed. Let's see, you're not meant for everyone. We're just talking about this in card two. You could be leaving card two. Your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. Have faith in your dreams. So you've come a very, very long way. And it says, if it feels good, follow it. You will be protected by the most high. So spirit wants you to know that you are safe and protected and that it's almost like you're coming up as a child and the universe is, is a parent to you, a guider. You seeing more of that connection with the universe 
um, is what I'm getting that the universe wants you to know is that you are a child in the sense of a youthful matter, okay? So you're, you're youthful, you're, it's meant to be fun, okay? We have the pink, which is reminding me of the cotton candy, unicorns, mystical, the cosmo world. Your life is meant to be very fun and very exciting. And so this keeps you as a kid. This is you, this is who you are, is what I'm hearing. That is your authentic version, is just to be chill and be like the version you are, just being a kid, having fun, not really thinking too much of it, just existing. And I believe that that's why if you're having some feathers being ruffled in your circumference, it's because it's getting you prepared. All right, let's just see what card three, what do you want them to know? What's going on with card three? Okay, we have the five of swords here. We have the three of cups. So yeah, I definitely feel like if you guys didn't listen to card two, listen to card two. I'm not gonna spend much time on family dynamics and tribe and people because I definitely feel like that's card two. Um, for, and, and that's a sign, that's a message right there. Spirit is saying, hey, let's not focus on the low vibrational things and what's not going right and how you had to get here and you know you took this much time to do this and you were with someone who was a narcissist. It's like, that's your old story. And, and even when you tell it, you have to relive it, right? Whatever your old story is, it's time for you to become the author of a new book, okay? So yes, Five of Swords, there has been, but this is mostly, there's people around, right? Five of Swords, people around, but the only one that's inflicted is you. So this is self-inflictedness within your mind of where you're choosing to focus, right? So it's, that's why I said I'm not gonna take too much time to talk about that, and it's crazy because card one, completely different energy. Card two, very strong, like quicksand, like getting out of quicksand, and now that I'm thinking about it, it's, it's like, I don't wanna really talk about that with card three. I wanna have fun. I wanna talk about the good stuff coming in, what's exciting. So this is what's like, this is what I'm feeling for you. And, but for some reason they're, they're trying to pull, even those cards, I just picked those all up. I don't know why I did that. And now it's making sense because that's past energy. That's card two. And now that I'm thinking about it and I'm out of card two's energy, I'm like, oh, this feels relieving. So I feel like if you're coming from card two, you are actually going more into this direction in your next book, in your next chapter of your life, which is more fun. Yes, you've went through things, we've all went through things, but it doesn't feel good to even talk about them. And to feel good is to feel God. So if I'm talking, 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 and I'm not feeling good, I'm not, I'm not speaking from God. I'm not speaking, that's why I call myself energy, inner God. It's not my inner God speaking. My inner God only speaks of comfort, of high vibrational things such as enlightenment, joy, happiness, excitement laughter, fun, yes. Your spirit's like, yes. And then your ego's like, well, we gotta focus on this, we got this, but what about this, but what about this, we gotta do this. And it's like, dang, this is the tug of war. I just wanna be free and feel good and feel happy. And guess what? That's what's here for you. That's what, that's, spirit says, if it feels good, follow it. Yes, yes, that feels good, cool. So, <laughs> it's crazy because I didn't realize how my energy just kind of went I was like kind of going through mud and that mud is just that devil in reverse for that second card for the green card if you guys are coming from there or if you go back the reason why I'm saying this is because it's, it's almost like a journey and we were getting ready to go into that energy which is your past energy and now you're moving forward and so all of that even talking about it doesn't feel good right? Think about what you would talk about if you just won the lottery or the jackpot. Are you going to be talking about what's going wrong? No, you, won't, you can't even think. In fact, everything's going right. So it's like that's actually the vibration you desire to be on. That's the vibration you desire to be on. So that could be significant for you. Look at this, the king of cups. Yes. So this is something that you love. We already have water energy coming through, a little bit more feelings, less rational and practical, where card two was focused so much on practical and work and job and survival. Yes, that's required in the, the conditional world. But you're going towards the unconditional world. And card three, I believe you're already there 
or you're dwelling, you're in it, or you're on the brink of this world of unconditionality, okay, where anything is possible, which is why I just said win the jackpot. No other card I said that. So that tells me you can even feel the difference in my energy each card. Energy is a real thing. And with card three, I'm feeling nothing but fun and excitement. I don't even want to talk about what went wrong. And I believe this is you too. There's nothing, we don't even need to talk about those things. I'm not there anymore. In fact, talking about it makes me feel like I'm reliving it, because you are. Remember, you're multidimensional. So do you want to live in the past? Even talking about it is living in it. Thinking about it is living in it. So that's why it's like, okay, let's move forward. And card three is given, if you chose card three, it is time for fun, all right? You will be taken care of in this next adventure. So the trade-off is your fulfillment. So I believe that you, again, this could be a lot of creative flowing. You could be a streamer, a gamer, cosmic books, art, gardens, cooking, teaching, anything that allows you to create. But what I'm sensing with you, Card 3, is you're a different type of creator, especially if you're here. If you're on my channel, 100% sure, connected with the universe and enlightenment, which tells me that you will create things from a place that people have never even imagined. So embracing AI in this next six years is going to be very significant for you. NFTs and currencies and the imaginative world, it's giving me a lot of Pisces energy, okay? So this is like dream fantasies. Your fantasies are, let's see. Your fantasies is the evidence of the desires you wish to experience, is the best way I can put it. Your fantasies are also revealing to you your desires. Don't judge them. We make fantasies sometimes seem bad or unreachable or unobtainable. Whereas if I say reaching your dreams, it's like, oh yeah, dreams. But I say fantasies, you're like, oh, fantasies? Yes, cosmic, mystical world, this is where you belong. So you could definitely be an artist, a creator, a director. Um, your movies will be out of this world. Your music will be out of this world. Your art will be out of this world. Your fashion will be out of this world. Hair, anything that you desire to do. And that's the work for you to do. Sometimes people really book sessions with me and they're like, well, what do I like to do? And it's like, you want me to ask the universe in the cards what you love to do? And you want to know how to manifest. And this is the way. At least know what you love to do and what inspires you and what, what, what are your fantasies, okay? I know I should have changed this battery. All right, let me just change this battery. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Change the battery. Okay, so you guys, if you're coming from card two, I definitely feel like that means rest. You've been trying to figure it out in this practical sense for so long, it's not meant to be figured out. And so this is also embracing your intuitiveness, your crown chakra. So that's probably why you were drawn to this purple pink because the crown chakra is where you're actually allowed to have that conversation with the universe. You're in a high enough frequency. Even in your root chakra, it's interesting because through our root chakra, we communicate through to the universe, but it would be through our family, through our foundations. And in, in that sense, it would be through love. And so with the crown chakra, it's like you're at such a high frequency that the universe is already there. There's not much that has to be, the universe doesn't have to come down to you and would never come down to a low frequency. It just doesn't communicate in that frequency. All right, let's see why this page of pentacles is here. Eight of cups, so you're walking away from something that was a page, and what are you walking towards? You are walking towards becoming a queen of swords, someone in more authority, someone more in power. We also have cancer energy, so that's, you could definitely be a cancer, that's twice that we're getting that. So you're definitely moving forward very quickly once you make a decision to move away from what feels like a page, even if it's a relationship. Okay, it could be a relationship, could be a career, something that you just are not really in love with. I wanna get, why is the king of cups here? There's something that you're passionate about doing. Give me a clue. Card three, give it your best shot. You're still determining that. 
that's interesting why I said that earlier when I'm like, oh, I don't, well, tell me what I like. What do I like? You actually have to go through that discovery. There will be many things you like. And starting with, even if you're like animals, the ocean. Okay, so Steve Irwin, I'm picking up, this was the Australian crocodile guy. So what this has given me is that that's a very random occupation and career, but I'm sure to him it was to be a dream, to live a fantasy, to just talk about things he loved. Like he loved these animals. Does everyone love crocodiles and alligators? No, but he did. That's how you know it's meant for you. You will have a love and a desire for it. It doesn't matter if others will. And it's crazy, they're bringing me to this. There's a website called birdtricks.com that I followed. I've been following for probably quite some time now for over at least seven years. And it just fascinated me that this person was making millions teaching people how to talk to their parrots. And he knew about all of these different type of birds and he was teaching them courses. And this was way before online teaching became a big thing. And it's like, he's getting paid from doing this. And so that is a fantasy. And I believe that's where your answers lie, card three. The universe wants you to know that your answers are lying within your fantasies of your dreams. We also have this card peeking out. It says, being yourself will inspire others. He was definitely himself, very different. No one was like him. He had an accent. We've never seen anyone like that. He's teaching you about crocodiles. And it's like, who is he talking to? Himself and others. And now they're inspired because they are him. So people who are inspired by you are you, but it's the highest, most excited version of you. So it's, there's so much to it, card three. Definitely check out the tarotchest.com if you guys wanna know more about using your powers. So we have the higher fence. So you could also be a teacher. We have Taurus energy. And so we have teacher, educator, um, something about society, all right? Breaking societal norms, going against the norm because even your face, it's, it's very different from everyone else's here. So you are going against the norm. There is more of an authentic thing about you and you giving it your best shot of what you love is guaranteed success is what I'm hearing. I wanna see also where you are headed. What else do you want them to know? Why is the higher font here? Share your voice. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So you are actually, once again, dreaming a new world into being. It's not doing anything. It's not an action. The only action is really enjoyment. That's the only action that should really be done is to enjoy, okay, to create. And even in this, you're having fun. So we do have distractions for the first time. So I'm definitely sensing that meditating, Closing your eyes, put on your favorite song and imagine. And whatever is being shown in your imagination is actually your activation. It's, it's where you're going. It's your direction. Some people say it's unknown. It's only unknown if you can't see. But you cannot see the spiritual from a physical lens. You must go into the dream world. This is where you, card three, have an advantage. If you're in the dream world and you're in the fantasy world every day, that is more realer than this world because this world is changing every day, reflecting your vibration every day. Okay, so this could be studied. And I wanna pull one more card because you're giving me card one energy too, the, the Einstein, okay? We have abundance in the reverse. So that should be the least of your worries is money. It's so insignificant. Um, and I tell this to a lot of people, they don't want money. I give them $10 million and I said, what would you do with the 10 million? And they're like, oh, I'd buy a house and I'd get a house for my parents and I'd get a car and I'd make sure I was good for the next five years and I'd do this and I'd start a business. And it's like, none of that said save the money because you just wanna put it on your walls, you wanna look at it, you wanna hold it, you just love money. No, you already spent it before you even got it because it's just an exchange. And so if you don't actually desire it, it will be hard to get. So that's the thing where you don't focus on the money, you focus on your desires and then the exchange will come. It might be money, might be an opportunity, might be a gift. Why limit it to just money and resources? Okay, so once again, you don't want money. If you did, 
you would have it all the time because you just simply loved it because just like this card, money would be no different. If no store in the world took money, would you still want it? Would you still want it? And if you say, yeah, just in case it runs, that's a lack mentality. It's still not the money you want. <laughs> so it's like really connect with your desires. And I tell people, they're like, yeah, I know what I desire. Okay. And as soon as you say money, you lost me. Because if you desire it, why are you talking about having it? You would have already had it because you desire it. Your desires will slap you in your face. Just like Einstein said, they are literally quantum entanglements. You are entangled with your desires. You can't not get them unless you resist them. This is the truth. Resisting them, um, trying to figure it out, going in circles. So it's like resistance. Allow yourself to be open to what the universe is telling you. Card three, Heath Ledger, the show must go on. So we know Heath Ledger, all right, so this is an actor, film, acting, once again, fantasy. All of that is what you're here to do. This is what you love with the King of Cups here. That's why I wanted to see that. So you're walking away from something, even if it brings you just enough to get by. Because just feeling this good about what you're doing will attract opportunities. I'm telling you, you want the vibration, not what it gives you. The vibration is unlimited access. The resources and the money, that's a one-time thing. Cool, sure, show up. But if you're always in that vibration, you'll always have what you desire. And where some of you may say, oh, I need to build a set to do a movie. I mean, I have real life examples. Okay, shout out to my younger sister. She's literally a twin version in the sense of film. So I don't know if she's gonna see this, but literally walking in that frequency, you would think I need a set, I need cameras, I need this. No, you need excitement and joy. And once you're in excitement and joy, it's like euphoria. Everything shows up. Oh, hey, hey, I heard you needed a set. Comes in with a whole truck and literally delivers a prisoner set. Like, this is what she's telling me. And I'm like, yeah, this is euphoria. Welcome. She's like, I can't believe it. Everything, I have more than enough. And we're going to do it in the movie theaters. And someone said that they, we can rent it out. Someone's parents. It's like, if you were just focused on money, you would have been out there working, 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 working while all these resources are just waiting. It's right there. So it's inspiring. Let's see if there's any other advice for card three. Ask for help. Angels are ancestral beings who protect everyone. Ask for help. Ask for help, friendship. So asking for help. So you definitely talking more about your ideas. Okay, sharing your ideas with others is something that's very important. So we have something that is very, very, very important, and that is to share your ideas. Okay, share your ideas, talk about it. Someone might know how to set it up. Someone might know how to do something you don't. Okay, the teacher is here, the higher friend is here. You're gonna teach a lot of people, okay, to trust. But the ideas are gonna come to you as you move towards it with the queen of swords. You're wondering what the plan is gonna be. The plan will be revealed to you. Okay, as you move towards what you truly desire, it's like it's unfolding. We have emotions, alchemy, processing, sensitivity, honoring the flow of the emotion. So once again, I was saying, card two, very practical. You, the emotions, that's why I said Piscean, uh, Pisces energy, cancer, and Scorpio. Thank God we were getting some more emotions because your emotions, your feelings, as I mentioned, feelings are communication. It's the universal language of of the universe. The universe doesn't speak a language, doesn't speak with words, doesn't have a mouth, doesn't have a hand, and therefore communicates through people who do have hands and mouths. Um, but these people obviously have to be able to receive the messages. So even then, there has to be an interpretation. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And so your emotions are actually showing you. So they're saying process how you feel. Don't rush into certain situations. And then you would save yourself a whole lot of time in failure which is just simply going in a, a, the, a direction that's other than what you desire. That's truly what, what it comes down to. Okay, anything else here? So honoring your emotions, they are gifts. Okay, it is a gift. We also have forgiveness. I don't know how this card came through here. Forgiveness here, be patient. Forgiveness of I don't know what, but there's a couple, there's a relationship on here. So some type of forgiveness must be taken 
for you to be able to walk into this new version of yourself. We also have the past. What was I saying? That's what I was saying with card two. That is your past. But now being here in the future, everything's fun. Everything's euphoric. The universe delivers in all times, through all people, through all sources. And what I'm saying right now is not an affirmation. Even affirmation, it's like, do you know how exhausting that is to affirm every day? No, claim, claim it, just know it, accept it, claim it and know it. This is what I am. I know this is what I am. I, I, I'm excited. I think there's more self-discovery here is what I'm picking up. I'm more excited about these things and that's how I know I'm going in the right direction because I'm excited and I feel good. Then you will notice opportunities, resources come up, which is good confirmation. Also, I believe that you're looking for when you're going in the right direction. Like, how do I know this is the right path? You're excited. And then through excitement, everything is delivered and it's like a miracle. Basically, it's like magic. It comes out of nowhere. Your check becomes more than enough. You have more time than you thought you would. You look better than you thought you would. Like it's all good, literally all good things. So if you guys were called to this video, thank you so much for being a part of it. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the tribe. Not sure how many more videos of tarot I'm gonna be doing, but if you guys are here now, it is all about just embracing the present moment. And so I'm excited to be able to share this with you guys. Yeah, so I'm thinking about the vlog. I don't know, but I know that this is definitely a gateway into doing more vlogging material about being an earth angel and just being on this planet, okay? Being on planet earth and what that means. And so I feel like I have a very deep, beautiful connection with the universe and I wanna share that more with the world so that they understand that they do too, you know? And yeah, so if you guys are here, I'll see you in the next video. Love and light.